Hello everyone, this is Amrit and welcome back to the channel. This is the second video of our Book My Screen, a full stack movie booking system series. In, in the last video, I gave you an overview of what we are going to build. Today we will set up the project and I will also walk you through the backend project structure that we will be using throughout this series. Okay, so without any further delay, let's start. For your simplicity, I have already created a starter template and post it into the GitHub. You can find the link in the description below. And so feel free to clone this and also start the repo. So this will save you some setup time and also deals with the issue that, that you all are facing like versioning issue. Okay, so just clone it in, and open in inside your VS code. So just click this copy button and go to your VS code and and clone it. Okay. Just right here. Just right here. Git clone and this. Okay. But I don't, I'm not going to do this because I already cloned that repo. Okay. Now let's talk about the folder structure. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the backend folder structure. So, okay. So we are using modular st a structure. Instead of writing everything in single place, we will break our backend into modules, just like real world production apps do. Okay. So all the codes, source code resides in our SRC folder. And this folder containing different folders like config, middlewares, modules, routes, scripts, utils. Okay. So one by one, I'm going to explain you about all the folders. Okay. So these folders are currently empty. So I'm going to use my existing project here. So this is the, this is the same project that I already have done. So first of all, let's talk about config folder. So this config folder have all the configuration of our server, like DB configuration and Redis configuration. Okay. Next one is middlewares. This will contain authentication middlewares, error handlers, and if the request, if you are sending some request to your um, APIs, then that request is valid or not. That 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 we have to check through middleware. Okay. And the third one is modules. So this is the main thing. That okay. So our server having different different modules like auth modules, movie modules, show modules, theater modules, and user modules. Okay. So, okay, okay. Now the next one is routes. So basically an entry point to any modules, okay. And this is a script in which I'm going to write some script to seed some static data to our DB, okay. And a folder for socket connections and utils having some utility methods, okay. So this is the backend folder structure. Now let me talk you through the front end folder structure. So as you know that this is a source source directory having all the source codes. So first is APIs having all our Axios API request placed here. And this is this folder containing all the assets. And this one is for the components. This is for the context. I am using react react context API in this project for state management because this is simple and i only need three different types of context like auth context and location context and third one is seed context if i integrated redux here it will become more complex so i don't want to make it more complex okay so just me i just used context api third this one folder is used for custom hooks okay and here as you know and you are familiar with this folder as well like pages these all are the pages in our project and this is also same as the backend folder that is utility folder having constants and some utility methods okay so that's all about the folder structure and project setup okay now let's start our backend and frontend server okay so let's first go to the frontend folder and start npm run dev and another okay 
okay so both the servers are running let's look it in let's check it yeah welcome to book my screen okay so this is the this we get from the front end full am.jsx yeah so that's it and let's check that backend server is running perfectly fine or not yeah welcome to book my screen api okay so both the servers are working so that's all for this video from the next video we will start coding and building our ui okay so thank you